Hi folks, sorry I've been away for a while. These uh, next video series looking at putting a power drawbar on my Nova Mill milling machine. So uh, sit back, I um, hope you like what you're going to see. If you uh, do uh, want to see any more, you can always check out the YouTube channel. Five, four, three, two, one, go! So here we are, this is the Denford website and this is where I got my information from. Uh, so you go into the machines area, look up for Nova Mill and there's a uh, thread on the um, automatic tool changer. In there you can find some drawings from Denford and uh, we just pull these over. Uh, you've got a general assembly for the uh, machine head, there's a pneumatic cylinder a uh, steel support plate, a rocker arm and a pivot uh, with uh, there's a stack of springs inside the, around the drawbar and a collet that holds a BT30 tool holder. Um, so there's drawings available for the steel plate and also drawings available for the um, drawbar. These are the only two parts that aren't available um, the, so the springs, collet, rocket arm and pivot are available. Um, pneumatics is bought elsewhere. Uh, so uh, yeah, so Denford, good folks. Um, my machine's from 1999 and they're still helping out even though they don't uh, supply the bits anymore. So uh, first thing to do was try and get a uh, pneumatic cylinder. So I got one of those from China and a control valve. That's cool. And then cut up the plate so I can get that uh, manufactured. I uh, used a local sheet steel um, company who could plasma cut it for me uh, to shape, uh, customise the shape a little bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, pretty good. And then uh, the trickiest bit was the uh, drawbar, which is um, uh, slightly hardened steel and uh, I had some fun machining that uh, to the point that well yeah the thread machining it enough to get a uh, die over the top and then cutting the final threads with a die uh, and that worked a lot better the bolt on the end is just a stop for the tool holder so a bit of a dry fit see how everything goes together and then the big question was how the hell Am I drilling the holes in the side of that casting um, without taking it all apart? So, a bit of a bright idea. Let's build my own mag drill. So this is a DTI stand with a piece of linear rail bolted to the top and one of these. So this is a um, 3D printed part that I've designed myself. Uh, it holds the drill in the large diameter and a linear bearing in the small diameter. Um, something fairly easy to knock up in Fusion 360 and print in the 3D printer. Seems to work really good. Um, the only issue then was, uh, okay, so I've got a nice straight hole. How do I tap the threads? So um, next up is a guide for a tap, which again bolts on the top of a DTI stand. And I bought a long um, shank tap that would go through the um, hole on the holes there and um, allow me to guide the tap in nice and square as well. So yeah, so that seems to have gone reasonably well and they were printed out. So let's see how they go when you use them. So here it is all set up and um, just starting to drill with a small bit first. Um, seem to go up. One of the tricks I could find was apparently the um, filings or cuttings from cast is really abrasive uh, so rather than uh, get them all over the machine I used another DTI stand mag magnetic base just to catch all the filings that seemed to work really well I'm quite chuffed with that um, and lubricate the, uh, the drill bit and it just slides in and out on the this linear rail keeping everything nice and square you still have to support the drill and push the drill but, uh, yeah, seems to go quite well. So, a few extra spots of um, cutting fluid and the old bit of uh, elbow grease, and we're nearly there. You can see the uh, filings there all 
sticking onto the magnetic base. Uh, which the way that went. The uh, minor issue I've got with the stand is that the aluminium joiner that I have between the rod and the thing um, was stopping the bearing going all the way in. So you see me moving on to the bigger drill bit. Uh, again, just adjust the speed down and you have to sort of adjust it based on the pressure and um, uh, just to get the right sort of cutting speed. Yeah, ugly bloke pushing drill, not great. Um, so there you go. Uh, yeah, so that uh, seems to go quite well. Lots more filings or cuttings, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, really chuffed with how that went. And uh, got a nice clean hole. As you can see, uh, getting all the way in. Those filings make a nice sort of size on the uh, thing. Yep, quite chuffed with that. So what's next? We need to cut some threads. So uh, okay. got my uh, thread support and my long tap. And uh, just using the thread support to make sure everything's square. I've got a little ratchet um, uh, driver for the tap. And just uh, basically slowly working it in. Um, it's quite nice um, being fairly sure that everything's square without having to worry about um, yeah, mucking it up, especially when you're tapping into something that's not cheap if you ruin it. So rather than have you watch me uh, I'll cut all this thread, I'll just go, jump to the end, oh, and the um, there we are, pretty much at the bottom of the hole, so just backing the thread out, and uh, what we're going to do... So these, um, this long tap has a really long lead in on it, um, so it doesn't cut threads very deeply, uh, especially near the base of the hole, so I need a bottom tap to tidy that up. Uh, fortunately I have a uh, M10 bottom tap, so we'll take this off, and then if we swap over to a more traditional setup, of course this is all um, nicely tapped on, I typed in already, so I don't need to worry about being square, and we just do the normal uh, twist it in, back it out, twist it in, back it out, and um, yeah cut the threads all the way to the bottom. So there you go. I think that's enough for this video. Now that's uh, my helper cleaning it out with a bit of air and nearly deafening me. So I uh, hope you liked the video. That's um, part one of getting this uh, power draw bar assembly done. So hope you like the video. If you do, please click the like button and uh, see you next time. Cheers.